you know my uh, tattoos are a, a reminder um, on how to live life without compromising them you know and uh, but I tell you when I look at this you know uh, it's definitely a more powerful uh, reminder you know I can see that I can remember that but I can't feel that you know just taking it in so grateful I didn't sell myself out you know so grateful I tell you guys a funny story my uh, lawyer my lawyer calls me uh, he says you're quite the rock star and I told him I said hey man I'm just a bipolar rock and roller <laughs> <laughs> it's just as simple as that, I think. Just finished, sorry, I'm out, I'm out of breath here. I just finished uh, training quads, my legs, and uh, it's come along really, really well. Really well. I did a video on how badly they atrophied especially my left one, like the teardrop muscle down in your near cap was pretty much non-existent, you know, and now it's developing quite nicely, nicely so very happy about that, very happy, yeah. Well, it's Saturday night, it's been a productive day, I think I'm going to make myself some dill pickle popcorn, I'm going to watch a Tom Cruise movie. I don't know, I'm thinking the color, color of money. That's what I'm thinking. So, nice. have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Yeah, I know that uh, video I did on the Coke My Path is a little long, but I thought about uh, chopping it up into different parts, but I thought if I did that, it would lose the, the flow, you know? Oh, it took forever to make that video, forever. Anyways. Uh, I hope that, I don't know, uh, what can I say about that video? Um, I hope uh, some of you can take something away from that. Um, you know, it's definitely not the path a lot of people would agree with, especially doctors. You know, but uh, yeah. Yeah, when I mentioned uh, medicinal cocaine uh, to a couple of my doctors, they just looked at me like, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, that was a tough sell, but hey, I'm living proof, right? You have to, that's the hard thing. You have, sometimes you have to believe what's in your heart, you know, and you have to, sometimes you gotta push back against the system and it can be difficult, you know? Um, you see what uh, a lot of people, uh, especially doctors, fail to understand is I was diagnosed extremely late in my life very late so uh, a lot of habits and a lot of pathways and, and mannerisms and personality you know we're hardwired you know I've been living for 40 was well, 43 years at that point so you couldn't use traditional methods you know because any sudden disruption um, in being who you are is going to cause a lot of confusion, a lot of conflict, you know, and uh, especially in my case where, you know, um, I had an identity uh, crisis to deal with as well, right? So, you know, um, I had to do it my way. You know, and it was extremely difficult, you know, because there was so much pressure. You need to do it this way. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do this, you know. So, uh, yeah, very, very difficult to uh, challenge the system and challenge your family, challenge your friends, you know. I couldn't even 
tell you what I would tell someone in my situation. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to begin with to tell them. I wouldn't even know. What I do wonder about sometimes though is how a normal person thinks. What does a normal person think about? <laughs> I was watching a, a documentary on a very famous announcer. His name is uh, Merle, Merle Ranello. Um, anyways, he's bipolar and he's kind of like an advocate for it now. Hence the term bipolar rock and roll, I stole that from that motherfucker. But I think I was living it first, though. He can, he can keep it. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, and um, um, you know, I'm, 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 the similarities are so incredible, right? Um, he didn't get into a lot of uh, personal stuff, but there's a lot of definitely, definitely a lot of similarities. You know, uh, people with bipolar, there's definitely a lot of similarities, but our paths are, are different. You know, um, the one thing I'm trying to figure out, well, sometimes I say figure out, but I wonder about, is um, a lot of them were, are hospitalized. A lot of them are hospitalized. Like this one gentleman in particular was hospitalized seven times and he spent three months in the one. And they're pumping them full of fucking drugs and... And he was, uh, he's a big uh, advocate on, on uh, no uh, antipsychotics and that. You know what I think it is though? I'm just guessing here. Well, then, it, I don't know. See, what I'm thinking is maybe medication would help if you were diagnosed earlier. You know? But then, how do you diagnose someone who's younger with bipolar? Because they're just, they're just, they're just learning about themselves, right? So be almost impossible to di diagnose someone that young because you don't know if it's hyperactive you know they're going through puberty so you don't know if they're hyperactive you know so it'd be impossible to diagnose someone younger you know what at the end of the day I don't think there's an easy road and there is no right road <laughs> Probably two, three packs a month now. I don't think I'll ever quit, but cutting down has definitely helped out a lot. Oh, it's so peaceful. Think about. 
sometimes I think normal people are more fucked up than people that are bipolar, to be honest with you. Just from interacting uh, with people on a daily basis, I definitely see people so much different now than I used to. Completely different. Completely. Like if I bumped into a guy that I knew, you know, five years ago from my old life or whatever, I'd, he'd probably come across at me like completely different. I'd probably totally see him and psychoanalyze him totally differently, you know, totally different. I probably wouldn't be able to have a conversation with the fucker. <laughs> I know it did, that definitely happened with uh, with my ex-girlfriend when I moved in with her a few months back. Uh, I wish I could say that ended well, uh, but looking at her, um, yeah, I think it's fair to say with sober eyes and and a little more control over my bipolar states. Uh, looking at her, I'm just like. Wow, you know, what the fuck, <laughs> you know, like, I was seeing shit and asking myself, was, was she always like that, or was she, you know, was, did she always do this, did she always do that, was she always like that, yeah, it really freaked me out, man, you know, and a few things, a few things happened where it's like, yeah, yeah I recognize that, you know. Maybe sometimes I wonder. Maybe she she was a star. Um, um, same thing happened to her. Maybe she didn't recognize me. Okay, the sun is almost down. Time for some color, color of money. <laughs> Built a couple popcorn. Uh, nothing feels better than fucking busting your ass in a workout. Uh, I shouldn't say that. It's kind of hard to be good sex. <laughs> Have another cigarette. Anyways, have a great weekend, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. God bless you all.